Hey, hey fish. 8th of November 2018 and this is just an interesting thing that I hope to get back to later. I uh, just want to get this little piece, this first little piece that's incredibly interesting to me, but I haven't been able to dig into it yet. But get a load of this. This is really interesting. Trump and Macron are going to meet Saturday in Paris, okay? Trump's going to Paris, and he's going to be there for the big celebration of the 100th year of World War I on 11-11. Okay, so Trump's going to Paris, and he's leaving tomorrow on the 9th. And he, while he's there, he's going to attend the main ceremony, which will take place at the Arc de Triomphe War Monument in Paris at 11 a.m. on November 11th. The same exact time. That this monument outside of Phoenix, Arizona, shines the sun's rays on the great seal of the United States of America. Okay, there's so much we could get into about this, but this is just rubbing my spirit. So, he's going to be at the Ark of Triumph, right? And as soon as I saw that the Arch of the Triumph uh, is where the main ceremony is going to take care of it, it, it made me think of the Arch of Triumph. The Arch of Baal, which was in New York City two years ago, to be precise, on the, <laughs> of all things, you notice how they do these things on solstices and equinoxes. That's very important. But anyway, it was there September 19th through 23rd, 2016. Okay, so from that date, 23rd, exactly a year before the great sign of Revelation 12, Okay, from that point in time up until when Trump heads to Paris to the Arch, and don't forget, I, I, Trump and Triumph. Okay, this is just interesting. I showed you before. I think it was called Trump's Triumphs, and you drop these letters, and you get this. Okay, so I'm just saying. So, anyway, he's gonna be there, and the time frame between there is amazing to me. The 23rd was the last day it was in New York. And as of the 9th, it will be exactly 777 days. All right? This is, this is crazy, you guys, okay? 777, to me, this is how it's been shown to me. And I refer to it as the devil's jackpot. Because that is, like, it's a super major mockery in... in it's a long story that I really do hope to get into later in a longer video. But that's what that means in my spirit, okay? And when they're going to be at the arch on the 11th, gives us 779. But it also holds a lot of other interesting things. That goes from the devil's jackpot to Jesus, as in the 77th from Adam, okay? It's a generational thing. Jesus, all right, and the nine, of course, the complete, the judgment, and it amounts to 23, all right, and we wind up with multiple interesting things here. Don't forget the triple tau. I don't know if you caught that video, um, but this is, this is just a really interesting little set of time we got here that a lot of crazy things can happen. It, it's just an ongoing thing. It's, it's a gigantic ritual because you're in a spiritual war that's already be, been won for you by Jesus Christ. You only need to seek him and believe on him. And let me tell you, when you indwell his Holy Spirit, it's just a whole new ball game, and life takes on a whole new meaning, a good one. No more struggling with this world, with all this sorcery and magic, but that's crazy to me. That really is. I mean... There's a lot more to this, of course, but I'm just not able to get into it at the moment. But that's wild to me. Heading to Paris to the Arch of Triumph, 777 days after their little uh, intellectual worship fest here in New York City. Which, by the way, the way that they situated this arch was intentional to harness power through the whole uh, gigantic uh, 
altar that they now have at the Twin Towers uh, location. Because that's all that is, is a giant satanic altar. And it's all manifesting into the natural world. It's, it's here, it's coming, and one day, okay, I'm just telling you, it's going to hammer down. God is doing what he's doing, and he's allowing us this time to get close to him, to be saved through the blood of his son Jesus, and that's just the only way out of this mess. Remember, this is a very temporary situation you're in, in this human suit. You do die. We all are appointed to death, okay? Seek Jesus. He is the life and the way, so do that. And one more thing, probably the most important of all, um, I very frequently ask for confirmation on these types of things. Um, 11, 9, 7, 7, 7. And so I did that. And I went for a random Bible verse. And uh, once again, uh, if, if we could make this stuff up, uh, that would be very foolish. You know what I mean? John 11, nine i mean think about that eleven nine uh, my jaw just dropped to the desk when i saw that but there it is folks jesus answered are there not 12 hours in the day this is a study in and of itself just this one verse but please go and read this if any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of this world. Praise Jesus. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbles, because there's no light in him. Seek the light. Seek Jesus. Okay? I mean, this is just crazy. Hopefully, see you later more about this. This is very interesting. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God,